This is your World Fidelity Business News Monday. I'm Altaviz Munnings. ICD Utilities Limited has entered into a definitive agreement with Amara Utilities Holding Limited, the company that currently indirectly owns a 60.74% controlling interest that enables Amara to indirectly acquire all of the common shares of ICDU that it does not own. ICDU presently controls 50% of the Grand Bahama Power Company Limited, and all of Amara's Caribbean interests, including Grand Bahama Power, are held through its indirect holding owned subsidiary Amera Caribbean Incorporated. A shareholders forum hosted by senior executives of Amera and ICDU will be held at the Pelican Bay Resort in Freeport at 5.30 p.m. on October 23rd and at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel here in Nassau at noon on October 24th. A statement from ICD Utilities Limited also confirmed that the transaction will not change how the Grand Bahama Power Company is managed by Amera. In other business news, the advancement of Bahamians to high-paying jobs in the financial services sector and the enhanced regulation of the financial services industry were some of the issues addressed by the Minister of Labor, Senator the Honorable Dion Folks, as he met with executives of the Bahamas Financial Services Board and the Association of International Banks and Trusts last week Thursday. The Bahamas Financial Services Board executives were led by Chief Executive Officer and Executive Director Tanya McCartney and Bruno Roberts, who is the co-chairman of the Association of International Banks and Trusts, along with Antoinette Russell, Director of Credit Suisse Trust and BFS board member. And in international business news, Daimler Chrysler is recalling about 400,000 Mercedes-Benz cars in the United Kingdom over a potential airbag safety issue. The problem affects certain A, B, C and E-class models together with CLA, GLA and GLC vehicles built between November 2011 and July this year. The recall is not related to the exploding Takata airbag scandal and there have been no fatalities. Now the fix for the airbag issue takes only an hour to perform and a Mercedes-Benz spokesman told the media that the airbag issue only affected certain vehicles in rarer circumstances. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News Monday. I'm Altavis Munnings.